Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Car Extra Racing 2 with Brogamer Auto House. Today's episode is all about tuning the Panther M590S, um, which is the MX-5 on screen here, as well as tuning the regular Panther M5, which is the newer Mazda Miata in real life. And uh, I have this Panther M590 is tuned up to a Pro Drift 3, and my regular Panther M5 only tuned to a Drift 3, so I haven't even unlocked the Pro Drift 1, 2, and 3. Just haven't spent the gold on it yet. Thought it would be fun to start off with some XDS tandems. I'm going to tandem against myself with each of my Miatas that I have. So I started on this one with the Panther M590 and then followed on the Panther M5. Uh, you'll notice in the lead there I was heavily on limiter and third gear um, to limit my speed knowing that the red Panther M5 that I'm driving is a bit slower. So um, as well in chase that I needed to stay heavy on throttle in that M5 and in that transition just there a second ago, uh, my bumper was touching so it wouldn't let me flick it back and I ended up falling quite a bit behind. But I thought it was a fun way to look at this and um, show you guys the control and driving, driving styles here. Uh, now I tried it at the parking structure where I led with the Panther M5 and knowing that my uh, M590, the gray one, is a little bit faster, I was able to kind of go up to fourth gear and see what I could send on this. and. I was able to put a decent line together, but it is really low power for this red one. And uh, here a little bit towards the end of the video, we'll jump into the full tune breakdown um, on both of these cars, since you guys have requested it quite a bit. Uh, I've seen quite a few comments looking for the tune that I have on my Panther M5 and M590S. So stay tuned for that towards the end of the video. Um, as always, I always appreciate you guys being here and watching. Um, any likes and subscriptions are also appreciated, but not necessary. Um, so thank you for anybody that does that. Uh, we are right at about 500 subscribers, which um, is a small number, but I'm excited to be there. We're going to start off with the Panther M590 S Tune. Um, I do have the missile body kit on this car. Uh, they have CBW, RT, and D-Master, which I think the D-Master one got added later because I do really like it. Um, the R&T kit looks really good. And then that D-Master has like a, like a fastback rear window so it like slopes all the way back it almost makes it look like somewhat of like a Datsun 240 280z something like that kind of unique look so if you're into that um, maybe try that body kit out but I'm just going to stick with the missile kit for now I do have this tuned up to a Pro Drift 3 which has 377 horsepower um, nothing crazy no engine swaps or anything in this it's just uh, the stock one modded all the way out you can always pause the screen here guys if you need to write down some of these stats um, these tunes in general across all my tuning uh, tend to be pretty similar to each other, just minor tweaks based on the vehicle's weight and how they're reacting to uh, what I've got going on. So rear here I have negative two degrees of camber, which normally I only run negative one degree. Um, just for some reason on this car felt better, slides around nice. Uh, the suspension's pretty loose. I do run 215s in the front and 235s in the rear on this car. So I'm running the sport tires, obviously. I have the engine uh, maxed out all the way uh, with everything there, no fall off on the torque curve or anything like that. My differential is only at about a half, 0.5. It's at 0.49, but you'll notice my fourth and fifth gear are pretty heavily adjusted to 121 and 110. Um, that's so that I can be in fourth gear on most tracks, and then if it gets to be really fast, I can still hit fifth and it won't bog out and fall off the, the drift. So. I brought the front axis without a little bit because I am running a thinner tire in the front than the rear, so I wanted to make it a little bit more square for control. Now, onto the Panther M5. This one I also have the missile kit on, which I thought looked kind of cool with those door bars poking through and um, just a really unique setup, unique looking setup. Um, so they, they have the RT kit, which is more of like a rocket bunny kit. Um, but the missile one looks pretty neat and I, I took the hood off as well. So this one, I only have it a drift three, not even any of the pro drift stuff. So it's, um, definitely lacking in power, but I'm surprised it actually still drives pretty well. Um, because it does have such low power and such a light car, this thing's set up super loose. Um, this no, almost no stiffness in the front, no sway bar, uh, negative four degrees camber is pretty standard. I have the caster locked out and lower Ackerman angle as a result of that. Um, the retraction I have not messed with on this car at all. Uh, negative two again in the rear to let it slip a little bit more. And no sway bar, no stiffness. 
just letting the car do what it wants to do. I think uh, I do run an 18 225 in the front with a 190 pressure and I run a square setup with the wheels, but I run 260 kPa pressure in the rear. Uh, again, for that lower power, it's tougher to have a nice uh, power curve at, with, I don't know, the way that it drifts, it's much easier to have higher pressure in the rear in this car for some reason. Um, my axis width is slightly messed with there and you can see this thing's only a thousand kilograms, which is like nothing. Um, so that's it for today's video, guys. Uh, both those tunes, if you guys have any questions um, or suggestions for future videos, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys like and what you don't like or what you'd like to see. Anyways, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.